this wine skin is great in here, but then it goes out of here. And I'm not sure that wine skin is established yet in every state of our 13 colonies. I think you carry it from here. I think of New Hampshire and Maine, and and uh, then I always have to include Vermont, even though it's our fourteenth uh, state. Uh, but those states uh, are not fully; they don't fully yet have the wine skin necessary for the next movement, even though they have the DNA of the next movement in it. Now, that's the way you want to think about it. Where is the government to govern this? Because when the Jesus movement hit, there wasn't the, the government of the church couldn't handle it. So it rejected it. And thank God that the vineyard and Peter Wagner and, and John Wimber and uh, all, of, all of those people tried to form a, a, a government that could help govern that because the church rejected it. And uh, that's not what we can do in this season or else we will miss a new generation coming in. We want to support what's coming in, what God is bringing in in these harvest fields. And one of the words for this year, which I'll get to in a moment, is chaff. Well, you're going to have to know that there's a big separation coming and because we can't have harvests filled with chaff. So this year uh, has some sort of divine separation in it that we haven't seen for the harvest ahead. Now, with that, the Lord has instructed me, based upon what happened at the Citadel in South Carolina, which is part of this 13-colony movement here, to this year concentrate and get built for us a clear database for every state. So uh, we'll be doing that. I'm, I'm going to have John and Cheryl, and they'll be contacting some of you because we want to get a record that anybody can go to, choose their state, and say, this is the history of it, this is prophetic history of it, this is what God has said, but this is what God is saying. And some way or another, what happened with us in COVID is a lot of 30-year-olds came into this ministry and movement, but I can tell they do not understand anything. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to say it. They, they know they're in a war, but they don't, get, they don't have all the teachings we've had. And I don't think they want all the teachings we've had. I think they just want to try to jump in it and get moving with it, and that's okay. You know, you'll learn to shoot along the way some way, or else you'll get shot. So, so I mean, that's always been my philosophy. You know, I'm not a, I've never been a good babysitter. Uh, I, Pam only let me do it twice. And our... <laughs> 50 plus years of marriage and uh, uh, once the fire truck was there when she got home so it's I, I just know I love the strength of a new generation coming in but they gonna have to hit it running I, I think I think that's what we're gonna see uh, actually uh, I some way caught Ethan's, I was trying to fix breakfast and some way caught Ethan's socks on fire in the microwave. I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it happened. For breakfast. I, I, I guess, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm still not sure how all that happened. But, I mean, Ethan made it. You know, he's, he, he went through an awful time. God showed me up here in New Jersey that he was going to go through an awful time. 
and he went through an awful time, made it through, merit now, and straight A's in college. I just love it. You know, he lived through me. Your kids will live through you. You wouldn't be here if you hadn't lived through your family somewhere. It's probably why you are here, because it helped you understand the devil more. <laughs> now, the original colonies are God's battlefield for America. Now, if we're in this era of war, he focuses in on you guys. And he says, okay, we've got some things we've got to do because there's the DNA of creating a nation on the move. That was up here. And it, it really was what got us going as a nation. And since you, in this era of war, were the battlefield that created what we call America, some way or another in this era of war, God's returning to you. And he's coming back to you and saying, I'm calling on you now to come forth. I'm calling on you now to pull in that, like you said, revolutionary rising. You know, everything, when uh, 185,000 new IRS agents were hired during this time, Everything we left England from, we're seven times worse now. All right. And, and you have to sort of see it. And being controlled in ways that we never thought we could be controlled. So you have to know that there is a battle in some way God's eyes is still focused on this original battlefield. Now, at the citadel, the Lord showed me this. He showed me uh, four ruling angels totally surrounding America, and that included uh, Alaska and Hawaii. And then I knew immediately there were 51 angels that they had access to, to send in. Now, I believe this is the year that, and why we want that database of each state is this is the year that the angel, and they all had their sword in their sheath, the angel visits each state. And then... Somewhere in this era, those four ruling angels converge on D.C. And then the others follow them there. We're in for some wild upheaval. And I don't think you can figure it out with your mind. It, it's not going to look... I mean, m many of us in this room are history buffs. It's not going to look like what we've seen. It's going to look different, and it's going to be supernatural. It's not going to have, I mean, it's always supernatural, but this has got a supernatural dimension in it that we have never encountered before. So this becomes real important. Now, all of this, that revelation came from the meeting we had when God pulled me up into, through the portal, at the citadel and showed me this. So again, a lot of everything that the Lord has done to reveal to me America has always come from this portal up here with you, whether it was in New Jersey at uh, Liberty Park, or whether it was at the Citadel, it is linked, my understanding of the future is linked with you. Now, that's why the minute I know 
there's an opportunity for me to come no matter what, I try to do that. 